Hi, my name is Sudha Shah. I live in Mumbai and um, I was introduced to Myanmar uh, by Amitav Ghosh's book, The Glass Palace. That is what got me interested in the story of King Thibo. Um, Amitav Ghosh's book was very, very good and it was um, a work of fiction. I wanted to know the true story of King Thibo, which is why I started researching. Um, I discovered that not much had been written about him and his family after they were um, defeated and exiled to India. And that is why I began the research myself. I am interested in human interest stories, uh, true stories about people. Um, and this is what I wanted to write, um, uh, a human interest story about King Thibaut and his family. Uh, a true story, you have to be truthful to your, uh, you have to cons be sensitive both to the family you're writing about and to the reader. You don't only want to say the good things, you have to say everything so that it is fair to the reader and to the family. I spent eight years uh, researching and writing this book. Um, I was very disciplined about the timing because you have to treat it like a job. Otherwise, if you write sometimes, you don't write sometimes, you lose the thread. So I would work like Monday through Friday. Morning, I would read my research. In the afternoon, I would do the writing. Um, I have one son who was studying in America at that time, so there was not much disturbance at home. Um, my education, I studied in America. I got my degree in economics, but my interest has always been history and literature. You know, I was interested, I never thought I was interested in writing, uh, but I felt that this was a story that had to be told. And it was a story that had not been told before, which is why I felt a compulsion to write it. You know, there had to be a lot of research done, not only about King Thibaut and Queen Supyalat and the family, but also about Myanmar, about the culture, about the history, about the politics, about the social conditions. So I really uh, enjoyed the research. It was like a detective on a trail. You find new, new clues and then you understand the whole story. Yes, actually it is interesting because now more and more um, regional writers, there's so much uh, change in that earlier it was only books that were in English, at least in the colonial countries. Now everybody's finding a voice, everybody has a story to tell and the variety of stories makes it a very interesting um, development. Oh, uh, thank you very much. It's been an honor and a pleasure getting to know Myanmar um, through my research. I have fallen in love with the country and the people of Myanmar. Uh, I'm planning to write one more book. Um, it is about a part of India this time. Thank you very much. Thank you.